it's time to start adding content to the canvas, or more precisely, to the stage. The stage is a container for every visible object in a Pixie.js application. Think of the canvas as the space allocated for the app on the HTML page, while the stage is the container for everything that should be displayed within that space. There are four main types of objects we can create, geometric shapes, text, sprites, and containers. We'll explore each of these throughout this series. That said, in this tutorial, we'll focus on geometric shapes. So to create a rectangle, for example, we need to create a graphics instance, then transform it into a rectangle using a method called rect. To create a triangle, once again, we need to create a graphics instance, then transform it into a triangle using the polygon method, and so on. Now, let's put that into practice. So I'll start by importing the graphics class in instantiate it. Then I'll call the rect method to transform it into a rectangle. This method takes four arguments. The first two are the coordinates of the top left corner of the rectangle. The last two are the width and height. Next, we need to call the fill method and pass a configuration object with the color in the alpha if needed. Then I'll add it to the stage. To add stroke, we have to use the stroke method. Keep in mind that you must call the shaping function before filling stroke. In addition, we can make the code more concise by chaining the methods. We can add a variety of shapes, including spheres, lines, rings, and more complex shapes like stars. And with this, we come to the end of this tutorial, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.